In this lesson, we're going to learn some simple and effective ways of changing and transforming the individual features within EFIT 6. The lesson is divided into four sections. We'll start with the Move tool, which changes the position and shape of the features using geometrical transformations. The second section will look at the Transform tool, which changes shape using labelled slider controls. We'll then look at the thumbnails tool, which replaces an entire feature with a new example. And finally, we'll look at the eye color tool for changing the color tone and appearance of the eyes. In this section, we'll explain the use of the move tool for making geometric changes to the position, size and scale of the individual features. To make geometric changes to individual features, we first click on the move icon, select the feature we wish to change from the iconic face in the tool panel, and then use the tools below to make the changes that we want. The move tools are largely self-explanatory and you can explore them in your own time. But briefly, we can move a feature up and down, left or right. We can rotate it. We can stretch it vertically or squash it vertically, stretch it horizontally or squash it horizontally, and we can grow or shrink that feature. We make special mention of the tools which we call pinch stretch. Basically, these squeeze the feature at the top or the bottom only and are particularly useful for the overall face or head shape and for the nose. Let's briefly just see this in action. Note that we can select two or more features simultaneously by holding down the shift key as we select the second feature. So here we select the eyes as the first feature and I hold down shift to get the second eye. I continue to hold shift to include the eyebrows. Now when for example I use the move tool the eyes and the eyebrows will move down the face together. To save the changes we've made, we click directly on the face. Note how the orange box appears to indicate that the changes we've made have been saved. In this section, we'll explain the use of the transform tool to make changes to the features using labeled slider controls. The transform tool enables us to make changes to features which are not just simple geometry but best captured by a label. Select the transform tool, click on the desired feature and then move the label slider to try to get the effect you want. You'll notice that when you move one slider, all the others will move. This is normal behaviour and reflects the fact that the labels may reflect similar or near opposite properties. As a small example, we might use the sliders to make the jaw a little squarer. the mouth a little bit more downturned and the eyes rounder and more staring. You can compare the original image against the modified 
by selecting the radio button original and modified. To save the changes we've made, we click directly on the altered face. Note how the orange box appears to indicate that the changes have been saved. In this section, we'll explain the use of the thumbnails tool to replace a selected feature with a new example. The thumbnails tool is used to completely replace a selected feature with an example chosen from a stored sample. We click on the thumbnails tool, select the desired feature from the face icon, and then a set of examples appears in the film strip below. You can load any of the examples by clicking directly on the up arrow within the thumbnail window. You can view them in blocks or groups by clicking within the scroll bar or on the chevrons. Click right to go forward and click left to go back. To identify several examples that approximately match, you can place them in memory or flag them by clicking on the flag symbol within the thumbnails window. We can simultaneously view or access the flagged examples by checking the radio button flagged. In general, trying to build the facial appearance by selecting features individually is slow and not very effective. For this reason, the thumbnails tool should be used sparingly and only when the witness is unable to get a satisfactory appearance using the other means within eFit. In this section, we'll explain the use of the eye colour tool to carefully control the colour and appearance of the eyes. The eye colour tool can be used to control the colour tone and enhance the detail and realism of the eyes. We click on the eye colour tool and then select the desired colour tone from within the palette. Note that we generally need to use the slider controls to get a realistic appearance. High values for the opacity and lightness generally give a rather intense look, whereas low values soften the colour tone. To accept the colour change, you just click directly on the face and an orange box appears around it, indicating that the change has been saved. The applied colour tone can be removed by clicking directly on the Remove button. Note that when you apply the eye colour tool, eFit treats the change as an applied layer. This can be hidden or removed completely 